I got better at running. All right, let's go find a place to live. We start our journey looking for a spot to call home. So for this little bit of time, let me get all the intro stuff out of the way. First off, all of this was streamed live over on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash navel. Also, only 8.3% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. If you like this video, or if you keep coming back, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subs by the end of 2023, and if we can hit that goal, that would be absolutely amazing. So, with all that stated, let's continue the video. Day one, we start off by going into the wild and search for land that we could call home. As we were searching, Tickle had the best start. Ow. What's happening? Some little shit punched me in the back while I was trying to figure out my crafting menu. Did you die? I died. Once Tickle reclaimed what was rightfully his, we set out again, eventually finding the area we wanted to settle down in. I got to work by chopping some trees, making a workbench, and flattening the area that I would like to build. As day two rolled around, I went to see what Tickle was up to. It seems he took over an abandoned building and is renovating it to his liking. I, on the other hand, want to build fresh. So getting even more wood, I got to work placing down floors, walls, and a roof, so I can make my own little starter shack. Eventually, our village idiot showed up, and we had some beef to settle. Where's your yeah, house? I, did you like that I tried to give my guy the closest thing to a mullet I could find? <laughs> I'm so tired of you. <laughs> oh yeah, come here, come here, come here. Let's get this out of the way. Hold on, I gotta figure out how to put this away. I just got hit the, just hit the same button. Just hit the just, same button. Just, just hit just the same for, button that it is. I, I have it. I have it. I just want to ask, how much health do you have right now? Bare knuckle brawl. How much health do you have? Don't right worry now? about it. Bare knuckle brawl. How much health? Because like you got a big green bar. I'm looking at 15 health right now. Bare knuckle brawl. Come on. Where do I respawn? I have three health. Get fucked. <laughs> All 15 of it. Yeah, you get shit on shitter. Days three and four, I spent running around the local area, getting a lay of the land, farming resources, and getting food so that I can, you know, survive. During this time, I met some of our neighbors and brought them to meet Drek. We're here. I, I brought friends. Here, Drek. Drek, I brought friends. Uh, yeah, I, I see shadows. Oh, don't worry about it, other. You're here to welcome you to the neighborhood. After the party had died down, I yet again went on a hike and found another one of our neighbors. This one, bigger. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of here. I have no stamina now. Are you serious? <laughs> oh God, there's water. Swing. He's not swinging. Oh, there he goes. You have to get him close. You have, you have to get close to him. It's at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Goodbye. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, I ran out of stamina and I was like, I'm on his ass. I am going to die. Days 5 through 11, not too many things really happened. Drek and Tickle wanted to keep building, and since my starter shack was completed, I mainly ran around the woods seeing what I could do. But, as it turns out, we live on a small island. There isn't much on it. Drek and I did, however, try to take revenge on the troll. We keep fucking turning every time I go to shoot, and the neck just hit me and fucked me. That was my last arrow. Alright, let's get in there and just manhandle him. I'm dead. I think I got a half of swing off. Let's go in there and manhandle I'm dead. <laughs> like I just turned and you're just dead. And I try to go through a burial chamber. I'm dead. <laughs> but eventually the guys and I were ready to face our first major trial. Guardian of our island and all things deer related. Ike Thier. Gentlemen. We summon the deer. It was two. Your head struck. That was it? Yeah. Oh, then we got tons. Where is it? There's just particles everywhere. Oh my god, it's shaking. Oh, he's right behind us. Move. And Tickle's just gonna get fucking one shot. Yeah, right. Alright, he's going down pretty quick. 
Yeah, surprisingly. He doesn't normally take good on that click. The Three Oak Vikings, that's what we are? <laughs> that's what we are now. The village hidden in the oak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe we just remember them being a lot harder? Maybe. Uh, to be fair, the last time we fought him, there was 14 of them, so... Oh! Drek, you're a little, uh... Shocking I'm there. Singed. I'm singed. <laughs> Pickle just comes in with a club. There we go. Oh, did. he's down! Once the Deer Guardian was slain, we now had a pick. So I went mining, getting as much copper as I could for now. Realizing that I'll also need to make a smelter and a kiln, I went looking for some cores running into a burial chambers and not dying this time to grab some. When I got back home, I made myself the two and started working on the making bars. Knowing a forge would be on the way soon, I needed to expand the crafting area of my house, so I chopped some trees, ran into an old friend. I'm trying to chop logs. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit. And renovated the house a bit. Days 16 and 18, Tickle and I spent farming up ores and materials needed so we could make a boat and set sail in the open seas. So wood, copper, and tin were needed. On day 19, a group of dudes decided it was time to take over our village. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it's a bunch of gray dwarfs. Alright, I'm suited up. I have food in my stomach. I'm coming now. Yeah. Give myself the Ikthir buff. The shaman should be the first thing to go. I'm trapped. I'm stuck. No. How am I dodge rolling? What? I didn't know you could do that. I'm just and once the guys were taken care of, it was time to create the boat. We did as such and started to set sail, exploring all the distant lands until we found a small island. It's a little island home. Yeah. Have to go on a, a sailing outing every time you want trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a quaint little spot, are, to be honest. What are those little white I nodes? I don't know. All right, pulling up sail. Wait a minute. Those aren't barnacles, are they? It's just like some back of some giant water creature, is it? Uh. These are barnacles. Uh, do I do I mine them? Titan, Abyss Razor, Abyss Harpoon. Okay, I need to create a little bit of space here. Um, um, it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to the boat. I'm coming back to the boat. It's moving. Right? Like, yeah. This thing just moved, right? <laughs> I'm. It, it totally did, and it bumped the ship. I'm turning my left side to you. Do I mine another one? Uh. Nope. 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 Pickle. I'm turning my left side to here. Oh, please. Uh, do I, I have enough stamina, please? I think we should move. Oh, okay. Yep, I, uh... Okay. Day 22, I did some exploring by going into another burial chamber and into the swamp to meet the Draugr. Once they did that, Tick and I set sail to get home. Once we finally got home, we realized that Drek was doing some renovating. Drek, what are you doing over there? Um, there's been a structural failure. Uh... Is this an on-purpose structural failure, or...? Um... Yes. Are you saying yes after it already started to happen? Well, look, the build didn't go well, so we're just, you know, we're starting fresh. Are these up for grabs? I am not a carpenter. 
No, I... these are not up for grabs. These are mine to rebuild. Your house is just falling apart. Hold on, hold on. Just it's almost done. Wait for it. It's it's almost there. Do you like the fish right here that's coming down? There we go. We got a fish. Why is there a fish in this? I don't know. I must have left a, a box up in the house. Listen, this is part of the process. We just gotta wait. The next couple days, I decided I wanted to move. I wanted more land than what I was allotted in the Three Oak Village, so I moved down the way to make a new home. Getting started with the floors and some walls, and there was even some trees that didn't have the right being, you know, up anymore. I then had some issues when it came to the roof. What did I just say? What did I- why? Why is that part not structural, but everything else fucking is? Like, why is <laughs> this one part not structural? I don't fucking understand why this one spot isn't. So day 27, I pulled a drek and started anew. By making a, you know, kind of a circle structure to make a hut. Changing up the idea of a big house to having a big area to work with. I then spent the whole day moving my supplies from my first home to my second home. But then day 29 hit. And that started the biggest project over here. The walls. I spent days 29 through 35 doing nothing but mining rocks and raising walls over and over and over. But eventually, the walls went up. Days 36 through 38, I now had yet another project to take care of. You see, Tickle left the island to start a life anew. But in the process, he took the boat we had. So I needed a boat and a place to store the boat. So I made a boathouse. It's like a regular house, but boats live in it. I had similar issues with the roof, but I solved all that. What I didn't expect was a tragedy to happen. I'm out of logs again. I tripped over the final step and fell to my death. Are you serious? The next day, Drek and I set out to visit Tickle in his new homeland. He left the Three Oak Village to spread the good word and take on heretical grade wars. But doing what any good friends would do, we went to go check up on him. During this time, Drek may have gotten a little too close to some fire. Oh, Make oh, yourself a... Make yourself dead. But eventually he was put out. But then we headed back home to prepare for our next fight. We got well rested and set off to slay an old tree. This one tickle, I'm telling you, you gotta be careful for. He's spawning right on you. Oh, up his ass. Okay. Pillar time. You think it's pillar Drop time? Flame hours. What the? Ow! Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Get behind the pillars. Like, don't try to kite. You also need to avoid these. And there will be ads at points. Nice. Oh, you gotta move these. Those will also break trees, so watch out behind us. This whole area is gonna be just destroyed by the time we're done fighting him. I just walked in that, I'm sorry. Watch for the roots. Keep them burning. Oh lord, you coming. Yep, yep, yep. Why yep, are you wrong. coming to me? <laughs> oh, oh, ow, 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 eat, ow. Oh, he's coming for me. Yeah, he's coming for you now. Stamina, please. Stamina. Oh. Roots in our area, Tickle, be careful. I got him burning again. Ow. He's looking at me, mm. isn't he? Oh lord, he is. Hmm. I'm running around. We don't have a way to repair stuff after a while, huh? No, we do. We have that whole just workbench that we put over there. By our house. Oh, by low okay. Beds. Okay, okay. Ow, that just hurt. Ow. 
Oh, Tickle's down. Tickle is, in fact, dead. Uh, I might be next. I have no stamina. Oh, now it's the middle of the night. Push shit. Oh, Blinds. God. I'm chilling oh, behind this rock bad. real quick. That, that's bad. I just need I need some stamina. Some health regen. I got him burning again. He's going down. Maybe he's gonna die to fire. Yeah, nice. easy. Now we got a bunch of these great dwarf shamans laying around. Our elder trophy and our swamp keys. After the old rooted boss was slain, we went back to our homes. During this time, I made a farm so I could start growing some plants, and I set up a portal to my house so eventually the two could come and visit. On day 44, I started work on the portal house, a place for where all of our portals will connect. Drek then got confused at words yet again. Well, Doesn't sound right coming okay, out. Okay, okay, what Gen Z term did I use? I don't fucking know. I forgot already. <laughs> it's too late. Like that that memory is gone. Like we're on a new topic now. The answer is none. I used no Gen Z words, Drek. You said what word did you use that me yeah, sussy. That's that, that's it. I can tell you what that's what Drek was thinking. Oh, okay. Well, that was Neville. Okay. <laughs> Strong with sussy. I don't know. It just feels wrong. Does it feel wrong because you're the baka? <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. What <laughs> was completed the next day with a visit from Tickle himself, getting his portal connected to the portal house. I then started the journey in search for the traitor. We spent most of our time on our island, it was time for me to venture out, spending the next three days doing nothing but sailing around until eventually I found him. I then set up a portal so we could come back here later on, and once that was done, I headed home. On day 49, I yet again had to teach Drek a lesson. Come over here. Neville, what the fuck? God damn it. Look, I, I have been sitting here. For like 15 minutes <laughs> waiting for you to come out of your house Kradorf can you fuck off <laughs> look there I shot an arrow into him I saw the opportunity all right died of poison God damn it. <laughs> There's like eight graylings now, or two. But it looks like eight. We then set out to get some cores to make said portal to connect to the traitor, and Tickle wanted to treat Drek for all the work he has done to the Chapel of Tickle. You are charged with attempting to be better than Nabble. 
No. And you are charged with destruction to the original Holy Chapel, which is now a heritage site. A skull, and this is what you do to me? You've come to make atonement, and that's good. I double tithed. Please face your inquisitors. I can't. Turn around. This is what happens when I turn around. (laughs) (laughs) Shall we? (laughs) I wanted to start working on mead. But first I needed some bees set up, and let me tell you, these bumble bitches are the most picky thing known to man. All they want is more, and more room, so they can fly around or some shit. I spent two days making sure these losers have some space so they can get it on with some flowers. I had to take out my frustration somehow, and just in time, a delete drek showed up. To the non-stream viewers, you may be asking yourself, what is a delete drek? Well, it's once a stream redemption where I go and delete Drek. So all those times you see us fighting, it's normally because of that. Come on. <laughs> you're you're always, the one hiding behind the tree. Yes, yeah, because you want to always just shoot from a distance. Bring it in here. I got a mallet for you. Don't doubt my stamina. I love the AOE. Fuck you and your arrows. I'll dance this tree all goddamn night. <laughs> all right, I guess we're, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> you pull that fucking axe out and get in here. Kind of like, the more we do this, the more I'm like, you know, a PvP idea would be kind of cool. It is, it, there is a thing for PvP here. I have not watched the video. You gotta check that video out, honestly. Ow. Did I actually get you there? Yes. I guess. Ow. <laughs> Are you running around trying to make arrows? Are you running off to make a workbench? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a good idea there, Drek. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Saw you go down here. Where'd you run off to? I don't think we're I don't think we're both in the same place anymore. Oh yeah? Yeah. Why do you why do you think that? That's why. Okay. <laughs> I figured you're like he's gonna be going to my house. Brute, you're the death of me, you piece of shit. And a shaman drake, you're having a time there, bud. All I got is a neck on me. Get some fire. It's raining, Drek. Fuck off. Thank you. Well, we both benefit from this one. <laughs> we'll use the fucking Great Orf as a shield. <laughs> Oop. Dude, the, the NPCs are doing more damage than you.
This is fucking chaotic. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm like two stamina. Ow, you fucking dwarf. I went right over your head. Oh, yeah, you did. I don't have the stamina to block right now. And you're dead. Oh, oh no, Drek. Oh, See ya. GG. And it wasn't you, that was a great orf. Nope, I got the killing blow. No, that was a great 100% I got the killing blow. 100% great orf. 100% my Photoshop, game just froze, which happens every Photoshop. time I kill you. Photoshop. Since our little scuffle was behind us, we decided we needed some more bronze. So we went on a sailing adventure to get some copper so we could make a bronze pick. So we sailed across the ocean, killed a troll, killed some tree people, and mined up some copper. Sailed back home, smelted it, turned it into a bronze pick. I then decided what is cooler than a really big wall around your house? A moat around that wall. So I started to dig, but was interrupted since it was time for us to head off into the swamp for our very first outing. The three of us got into a boat and went sailing for the swamp. Once we were in the swamp, I, um, uh, I found a thing. What? Okay. What? What? Oh, what is this? Wood arrows. Like... What? An abomination? What are you fighting? An abomination! <laughs> are you gonna be all right? I maybe. After running away from the nice woodland creature, I found our first sunken crypt. We promptly went inside, only to find some angry guys who didn't want Drek around very much. Get on in. All right. Okay, we will fight Draugr in here and potentially slimes, but you see this, this muddy scrap pile? Mm -hmm. Oh, Draugr. Oh. oh my God, I'm dead. The Draugr elite. Continuing forward through the crypt, we found a blob who didn't want me around very much. There is a slime in here. And it is coming. Jump. Stop, stop, stop crouching. Stop. Well, I'm poisoned. Oh, tickle. I'm trying to do damage to it. I don't do very much. Just jump. Try to use it. Tickle. Drax? I'm, back. I'm getting my stuff. <laughs> Rest in peace. After running back, we flipped this place upside down, getting every single piece of scrap metal we could. Once that was all done, we went back home, smelted it all up, and I made myself a brand new bow. Day 60, I wanted to get another farm set up. This time is space so I could plant some trees and have an on-demand supply of some fancy wood. So I made it look like another farm and planted some trees. During this process, I decided I wanted to have another floor to the house so I could have a crafting area on the bottom and then like a livable area on the top. This really freed up some space so I could put more things in the house. It took a little while for me to design the stairs, but eventually they came out fantastic. After that, I spent a few days doing nothing but digging the moat around the walls. So it was deep enough that things could get stuck in them and nothing could somehow magically parkour the way over the wall. I then made a nice window to my house so I could have a nice view of whoever would be coming in from the main entrance and did a bunch of farming for materials. Nothing else really happened during these days because it was just me chopping trees and getting some other miscellaneous materials. But then we are going to head out to so we can get some more iron. We only did that one trip so far, and there's a lot of things that we can get with iron. But then we had a sudden realization. Hey, the boat's not in the boathouse. What? Uh, the boat's not in the boathouse. Why is the boat not in the boathouse? I don't know. The boathouse is empty, unless I'm just not seeing the boat. What the fuck did I just die to? Nothing could somehow magically parkour the way over the wall. The boat is now missing. We don't know how it happened. It was probably a grayling who came in and beat the shit out of it, but we didn't have a boat. So we decided it was time for the big upgrade and made ourselves a longboat. Yeah, I'm wet. That's funny. It's not running for me. Is it really? Ow, what the fuck bit me? A leech. Oh, there's a <laughs> leech right there? Dude, there's you right might here. die. Why? That poison's oh gonna God. kill you. You're gonna die. You're dead. No, don't kill me. I don't, I don't want to die. Neville, how am I going to get my Goodbye. ship back?
Again, we headed out to the swamp, and Drek took seconds to fall off the boat and get hurt. Uh, 22 seconds to die, in fact. So we had to sail down to the trader, pick Drek up, and go all the way back. Finally, inside the nether crypt. I wanted to look out and see where the two of them are, and I had an issue. Okay, so far it looks right off the bat we are safe inside the sunken crypt. Rick, are you trying to run up here? Okay, I'm gonna walk outside. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, get me! Oh my fucking god. I'm dead. And it so turns out, uh, during that time, Drek died again. So, I actually ran all the way back up to the crypt. Mined everything up, cleared out the whole place, and then I was like, where is everybody? I'm alone here. Well, it turns out, Pickle went across the water there to make a little island, like, fob area for us so we can port there and just sail over real quickly, which was nice and all, but it took, like, a day and a half for that to happen. So I just sat here, playing under the game waiting but eventually they did show up we loaded the boat up with everything from said crypt and made our way back home when i got home i made myself a stone cutter and gave myself a nice stone pathway around my house and a second smelter i then wanted to make my walls even better so i have this big wall i then have a moat around said big wall but i wanted to make it a little bit cooler so i planted trees all around the moat eventually they'll grow up i don't have even more defenses that absolutely don't matter but it's going to look nice. Pickle wanted to move back to the island, so he started to build. But we needed a portal to him, so I went out and got some cores. And once I got back, I decided, hey, I'm going to go visit the trader. Got myself a fishing rod. Got home, tried to do some fishing. I didn't like fishing. So I moved on to farming more wood to make charcoal to smelt some ores. I dragged Drek over to Tickle's house for a friendly visit. But then Drek, on his way back, forgot that my... Cool walls totally had a cool moat in them. Yeah, and I took a pick. Oh fuck, there's a trench! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't know that you took a trench! <laughs> Are you in my trench? Yes! There's no portal up to Tickles yet. Why? Because I jumped over your walls with and jumped over like I've been doing by the bees. I didn't realize you oh, yeah. dug a giant fucking hole on the other side. Yeah. With the stone cutter, I wanted a stone floor now to break up the wood in the house. I got that all done, and it really makes the bottom floor just feel bigger. But then we decided it was time for us to take down the next boss, Bone Mass. We already were having a lot of trouble in the swamp, so it was time for us to take charge for once. Go. Uh, I'm doing it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, here we go. Oh, no. I'm scared. Well, I have a bad feeling. I have a really bad feeling. I'm frightened. Yeah. I'm terrified. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's not taking, like, any fucking damage from the fire arrows. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a fight. Oh, God. Arrows ain't doing much to him. Oh, my God. Nope. He throws blobs. He throws blobs. Where are you guys taking him? We're going to the boat. You said to go to the boat. I mean, I did. Yes, just just back up and There's take so the boat out. Coming. Take the boat out. I'll I'll kite him. Once Taking you guys are out. gone. Go. Bosses weak to blunt weapons. Oh my god, the blob it's on is the on boat. the boat. It's, it's on, on the, the fucking boat. Kill it. I'm trying. I have no stamina. Oh fuck! I'm in the water. Oh god! I'm gonna die. This is the whole situation. I got a drugger chasing me oh, now. Try to God, get to the I'm shore. Try to get to the shore. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Bone moss is hitting me. I'm dead. Ooh, that's going to be a rough. Oh, it floats. Yeah, yeah it floats. It floats. It floats. I'm just going in reverse. Bone mass is chasing our boat, but I am getting away from him. Now. Yeah, we decided to fight bone mass with bows and arrows and not anything blunt, because we kind of forgot that was a thing. And now it's chasing our boat. In the water. So we regroup, head back home, get some stag breakers, because that's what we can make, and then we find the bone boy in the water acting like Godzilla. 
but we dragged him to the island across the strait that was pretty much just meadows to fight him. I'm down. It, uh, it didn't go so well. So again, we needed one major thing. Iron. We did another crypt, went back home, smelted said iron, and made some maces. We're nearing the home stretch of our 100 days, so I wanted to take some time here before the video comes to a close. We're enjoying ourselves in Valheim, but we're probably going to be stopping at 100 days. If you wanted to see us do another 100 days in this game, because let's be honest, there's, there's a lot more for us to do, then please like this video. If this video can get 700 likes, then we will make sure to do another 100 days. But with that, we still need more iron, since I'm still wearing troll armor and I only made myself tools with the iron. So again, for the final time, we set off to the swamp, and this time, it somehow went worse. How long is this poison the last? You're dead. If you're poisoned and you don't have poison resistance, you're dead. Great, now you're both dead, and now I gotta come get you. Swamp sucks. Yeah. All we had to do was go to the sunken crypt. That was it. Oh my god, I have no fucking I mean, stamina. I, I ran inland away from the boat. I'm just, I want to die now, too. This is it. Boat lost. Now that all three of us are dead, our boat is stranded. So I had to go back to Tickle's Chapel and take the carve all the way from there, sail all the way back down, pick the two of them up, and go get our stuff. Once we had all that, we then went back to our fob area to drop off the carve. And guess what? A serpent is now chasing Tickle and Drek. But it was as dumb as Drek was and just stayed in this general area in the water that we could just kill it pretty easily. Once it was dead, we then had three sunken crypts that were very, very close to each other. We would go in, clear one out, store all the loot in the ship, repair our pick, and then repeat. But the last one was on the other side of the swamp. We could just sail around. It was very close to the water, so we were like, oh, why don't we just sail around? Once we did that, a fight broke out. Okay. We start Draugr. Oh, Nabble, you got your wish. Oh, no, 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 um, I don't have enough fucking arrows for this. All right. He needs to not be on the workbench. All right. Bench workbench is, is down. As soon as he's away, I'll rebuild it. I have. Okay. It's fine. Heading him away. I wonder if I could parry him. He hits hard. That was cool as fuck. Did we see that? No, what happened? I blocked and dodge rolled at the same time. Ow. Oh god, six health. So I am parry blocking him. Nice. He just doesn't direct you. Run. I am running. I didn't do it that time. Tickle, you got... Got that shit ready? I'm gonna get it away from where he is. Well, yeah. Because one one of us is about to go. Yeah. How do I still not have enough wood? I never have enough stamina for this shit. Axes. I am axing. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Portal going down. Oh, don't see me, Draugr. Don't see me. Skeleton, now is not the fucking time, buddy. Now is not the time. Oh god, that's a, that's a troll. Alright, would you ever see an abomination and a troll fight each other? Because they are. Oh, hell yeah. 
The troll it does not want that shit, dude. He's going right for it. Dude, this is your armor. Um, um, don't tell me you're dead now, Tickle. I'm not dead. I'm just wondering why there's a shit ton of things right next to the portal. Uh, because this everything so went that pull. way. I don't. Those two are fighting each other still, like right where I need to pick all that you stuff up. And you guys a... can't come over here, right? Right. Yeah. Good. Tickle. Watch out, Draugr coming to you. I'm up here just yeah. hiding. It's a kaiju battle. That's happening here. The troll killed it. Get that shit so you can get your armor. <laughs> Man, I'm trying. Root gear. Fuck New material. Off. Guck. What the fuck is guck? Once everything simmered down, we finally got back into the crypt and finished up. We got enough that all three of us could make a full set of iron armor and then some. We went back home to prepare for the final fight. We then spent the next four days just prepping. It takes a while to smelt 120 iron bars with only one charcoal kiln, but we managed to get it done. We also made more health potions and poison resistance potions for the fight. It was a boring four days, but then it hit. Day 100. One slime down. All right. Bone mass is heading. Okay. Away. Get together, get together, get together. Make sure you have your poison stuff on. Yep. Parry the shit out of him. Oh. He's spewing, watch out. That shouldn't hurt us if we have the poison on. I mean, it's still gonna damage us a little bit, so just, it's not like you're immune. Uh, it's 0. 0.7 ticks. You have to retreat, retreat. Good parry. Spewing. Good damage, good damage, huge block, damage, block. big damage, gargantuan damage. Yes. Nice. You gonna be spewing? Spewing. Meet him. Watch out for the swing. at half. He adds. Direct back up and heal. Trying to. Trying to get his aggro. So you have aggro on the boss right now. I'm, Watch out. Yeah, I'm You're pulling him you. further away from the... Uh, uh, I'm going to try to get this archer. Okay, go for it. I got the eight slimes. I'm locked in. Come back, come back. I'm low on stamina. There we go again. Buried him. He's low, he's low. That's taken care boys. of. Come on, boys. He's on me. Dodge him. Beat him! I'm gonna hop, pop a health pot. Oh, is this a slime? Where the fuck did this one come from? Dead. He's looking at me, waiting to parry. I didn't. <laughs> he's staring at me, get him. He's spewing. This is it. Get him, him, boys. Beat him. Three. Fuck you! Yeah. You get fucking shit on you, loser. Turn back into a little puddle. Yeah, well, fucking bag in the mass. Bag in the mass. <laughs> that feels good. Bone mass was slain. No longer will it terrorize the meadows and the sea, and no longer shall the swamp terrorize us. We took his trophy and put it on the rock, allowing us to get his buff. Knowing we had slain three bosses in our 100 days. We know that there's more for us to do, so maybe, just maybe, we'll accomplish that in the future. But for now, we rest. Thank you all for watching our 100 days in Valheim. We had a blast playing and hope you all enjoyed. Again, if you want to see more challenges, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. My name is Nabil, and I'll see you next time. Toodles!